Hey everybody, Jake here with the TrendSpider charting platform and we are going to do the Thursday analysis into the uh, second half of the week and um, what we're looking at today is essentially oil. Um, so we're looking at US oil which is just the ETF for um, basic crude oil and um, we're also going to look at CHK and MRO which are loosely or highly closely related to um, oil, so CHK is a little less related than MRO, but all in all they do move together. So um, starting off with USO, we can see that oil has really taken a hit pretty much like everything in the last uh, couple months. And so what we have here now is kind of this inverse head and shoulders trying to form. So we've got the shoulder here, we've got the head, and then we've got the second shoulder here. Now, we are starting to break out of this wedge here and possibly um, ready to move up towards the kind of upward sloping channel resistance here, which would be anywhere from around 12 to, um, you know, depending on how long it took, it could be anywhere from 12 to 13 bucks. Um, but it is breaking out of this symmetrical wedge, so that's something to look at. And we're really kind of trading at the bottom of this bigger, um, if you will, kind of megaphone uh, channel. So we've got the resistance here, we've got the support here, and you can see that this is the daily candle, but this is the weekly uh, resistance and support, and you can see that here on this chart here, which is the weekly candle. So um, from a shorter term perspective, we are possibly about to cross on the MACD again. The percent range is starting to pick up as well. Um, the volume has kind of dropped off, if you will. It's definitely kind of decreasing. However, the price is also increasing, so you have to take that into account. But on the longer term time frame, we have kind of bounced out of this oversold area that we were trading in back in December and early January. Um, and we, if we look back, we can see that this area being oversold has really um, not happened in a while. It really uh, happened back in 2015 when there was that huge move down in oil, which you can see here. It was just a massive crash. And so, um, you know, this does look more like kind of just a basic kind of pullback profit taking. And really, we're still right on this trend line as well. Um, you know, you can see here, if we kind of look at this trend line, we can see that we are still kind of an upward, in an upward um, kind of trend here. So we did bounce right here. Notice how we didn't bounce right here, but we were very close. So, you know, if we wanted to create an alert and kind of show that sensitivity, um, this would have easily bounced in that alert zone. So definitely an upward trend still, just a huge pullback and possibly ready for a longer term move up. Um, based on these two areas of being oversold here and here, there was a pretty big move up after each time that happened. So um, we also have the MACD cross on the weekly candle, and this also happened here, also happened here as well. So um, if we were just looking at the patterns and kind of how things are shaping up, I would say that things are kind of gearing up possibly for a longer term move up. However, this is the market, anything can happen. I am not licensed. Um, we just are starting a charting platform for people to use this resource, but we do like to do analysis kind of every week to show how the platform can be used. So all in all, based on this pattern, it is kind of oversold and could bounce higher. However, this could easily continue to move down and we could retest this area below. So it really just depends on how you look at the chart. But based on this, if we do get a move and cross here and a continued move up, that would be something to watch to possibly test this area above. Um, that is USO. MRO is next, which is Marathon Oil. And MRO is kind of trading in the same kind of wedge. So we can see on the daily candle, we're trading right at the end of this, kind of the apex of this symmetrical wedge. However, we're also trading within a bigger wedge on the weekly candle. So we can see these trend lines here on the daily, but then when we look at the actual weekly chart, we can see that this massive wedge is kind of forming here. So um, all in all, same kind of story here. We are bouncing out of oversold levels that we have been in the past.
that have yielded some bigger moves to the upside, especially on the longer term chart. We can see that the MACD is about to possibly cross as well, and the percent range has started to move up. Um, now, the percent range is interesting. Sometimes it can be used as kind of an area to watch for overbought areas or overbought levels, but it can also sometimes signal further moves up. So you can see here, we became quote unquote overbought in this area, but then look at how much we moved up after that. So this can also sometimes just be signaling momentum and momentum starting to increase. So um, from this chart, we really need to break through. On the, oil, on the USO chart, we had already broken through this area, but we have not done so on MRO yet. Um, CHK is the last one we'll look at, and this is Chesapeake Oil, um, excuse me, Chesapeake Energy. Yeah, Chesapeake Energy, not Chesapeake Oil, excuse me. Um, but same thing here, we've got the kind of longer term trend here on the daily candle, and we can see that area here on the weekly chart here. And what we can see is kind of a, um, you know, almost like a cup and handle on the longer term chart here. And what's interesting to see is kind of looking back at the last year or so, we did have a move down. And so what we can see here is kind of a couple things. But it's interesting to see how we, at least from, you know, and signals change, patterns change, but from November, 17 till now, we can see that this pattern has kind of happened where we had an oversold level on the percent range, there was a small bounce, and then there was a bigger move down. And so the second time that the percent range became oversold, that was kind of the, the bottoming signal, if you will. And so that was also when the RSI became below 30 here. And um, from there, we kind of had this and this is very kind of non-traditional cup and handle. I wouldn't even say it's a cup and handle, but you still kind of have this big dip and then kind of this consolidation area before the rip. Same thing here. We've got kind of this area that was previously support, now acting as resistance right here. We had a pullback. We kind of have this big dip here kind of acting as the cup, pullback kind of acting as the handle. And so notice as well, same kind of setup. We did initially have the oversold levels here on the percent range at a higher area. And then once the RSI became oversold and well below 30, that's when this became oversold again on the percent range. And that's when we finally had the bottom here. And we are possibly about to cross through on the MACD again, which was a signal for a further move up one to two months after that happened. So um, all in all, Things are looking interesting on oil and kind of oil-based stocks. On the shorter term time frame on CHK, we can see that we kind of have this cup and handle kind of forming as well. And you can kind of see it more defined here with the, the smaller candles. And we now have this kind of wedge forming with this symmetrical wedge resistance here, the symmetrical wedge support here. And we could easily kind of pop through um, to test this area once again. If the MACD kind of crosses here and the percent range continues to move up and kind of crosses through this resistance here, that would be something to watch going into the second half of the week. So as I mentioned before, I'm not licensed. We're not advisors. We are simply a charting company um, that helps you automate your style of analysis and uh, to make things more efficient, remove bias, and also keep things consistent. So um, all in all, this is kind of how we use the chart. And um, please feel free to ask any questions. Um, we have a trial that you can also try out for about seven bucks, nothing too much, and uh, kind of gives you some time to check out how things work. So thank you so much for listening in. Everyone, happy second half of the week. Happy hump day. And um, we will uh, have another video update over the weekend. Thanks so much.